which is supposed to be confusing and it is confusing like even trying to explain it here is it's a slightly confusing concept but this is like a genuine test which is a stroop test so that's yeah. what a stroop test is and you might have seen it i mean there's yeah, many I mean, memes I, and they I go remember around. at university one of my flatmates um she was uh doing a psychology course and that's one of the first things they sort of uh one of the first things they were taught. So she, you know, excitedly came in my room and yeah, and it was actually intriguing to do the test yeah. myself. Oh, and hang on, two seconds. Sorry, literally, wow. I'm gonna be honest, this is weird. We went live, YouTube went live and said it was live and it's only just kicked in. Okay. okay. So literally, Everyone's like, everyone's in the chat saying we're really excited for this. I think people have seen the trailer pop up on like YouTube and stuff and other platforms. People are excited about it. That's what I was reading in the chat. Um, and L YouTube just sent me a notification saying we're now live. So, okay. Does well, that mean we weren't live previously? No one's heard anything we've said for the last. So no one. Eight no one everyone. Everyone missed that hilarious joke you just said about your mum. Yeah. And everything. Everything. <laughs> Everyone was in because everyone was in the same. Fiddling, Johnny, we've, we've said hello to you so many times. I was chatting to you, Fiddling. I wondered why you weren't talking back. I'm so sorry. Well, do we want to like rewind time? Is it? Yeah. Is, 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 ask, ask me that. Question. Ask me that first question again. Go yeah. For it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a true story. So, well, actually, I just want to do this again, just because everyone missed it at home. This is what. This is this is it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, and then Ananda just said that we came on about 40 seconds ago. That was so weird. Um, well, we can play the trailer again, um, and then we can come back and talk about what you were just talking about, if that if that's the ca uh, case. Sounds, sounds brilliant. Go for yeah. it, Bo. Sweet. Uh, we've been live on Instagram, though, so Instagram has seen everything already. So those guys are going to get fed up and not want to watch that trailer yeah. again. Instagram, talk, talk amongst um, yourselves. Have a good time. And watch some cat videos and then yeah, come back. Yeah, and then come back. I know, Mark. <laughs> Mark's like... Mark Kirstein's like, Bo, <laughs> Mark Kirstein's like, Bo, I had one job, I had one job, and that was to make sure we were streaming. I was making sure we were streaming. Anyway. I'm streaming well, this. Well, it's been good. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, good. yeah. <laughs> Let's play that trailer again. Let's rewind time. Let's do this all at It's like Groundhog Day. Oh, jeez. Here's the trailer again. Let's sit in some quiet peace and look at each other's eyes again, Mark. Okay. Okay. Here's the trailer. Enjoy. I'm going to say you were thinking of green. You're out of control. <laughs> Chroma is a powerful tool that allows you to know with 100% certainty any freely thought of color. And the one card that I wrote down is exactly oh. yellow. <laughs> Chroma can be performed as a test or a game. If we begin with you just thinking of a color in your mind, don't say anything out loud, and I'm gonna ask you to find your color written in specific colored inks. Do you see what we're written? And paint it that color. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna time you. <laughs> so I need you to find your color in black ink, go. Here, so literally you're just thinking of a color. You could have thought of any one of these colors. And now you know exactly what they're thinking. You can reveal it any way you want. <laughs> the color I was going for was red, which would make sense for Manchester United. <laughs> oh my God. What time of year was it that you were watching this game? March. March. So I think I'll take that as a hit. Spot on a March. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Now with the person, I wasn't even close. I was absolutely bang on with your father. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god, that's spooky. Ow. Just focus on your color real big. Imagine, can you think of something like a vegetable or a character? This vegetable you're thinking of, um, some people really like it, some people yeah. really hate it. Um, I'm gonna say you were thinking of an eggplant, maybe Barney, and you're thinking of the color purple. Yes! What in the world? Nothing is ever written. There's no peeking, no forcing, or complicated memory work. Everything happens inside your spectator's mind. I'm imagining a beach. Oh my god, stop, stop, you got it. You got it. <laughs> you were thinking of no, color no, no. yellow? 
Yes, definitely are. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, man. You are crazy, man. Always be ready to perform strong, direct mind reading with a lightweight, fun tool that barely takes any space in your wallet. Easily learn it in minutes and start stunning your spectators <laughs> with the power of Chroma. <laughs> That's absolutely phenomenal. I don't know what to do. <laughs> My brain has been blown. <laughs> How good was that the second time around? Whoa! Oh man, Jesus, this gets better and better. Instagram's gone crazy. They're so excited to see it the second time. So is TikTok. Oh man. Um, thank you guys for doing that with me. Oh, uh, we we had a really cool intro. There was a song and everyone on TikTok and Instagram saw the song and dance we did. Oh mate, it Both was good. Up, revealed he didn't have any trousers on. Actually, and, I've got yeah. furry trousers on. Well, the jump. We don't, we don't really want to see them. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. They're like teddy bears. It's really cool. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We even talked about the mic and everything too. Jeez. We did. Yeah, I, I complimented oh, you on your, your dulcet tones. Your, and, your real, uh, real nice radio voice. Like yeah. Baritone. yeah we, we, are now, you whispering? But now we're really upsetting the people on TikTok because they're having to listen to the same mm. really unfunny Yeah, the same jokes again. And again. We're like, we'll geez. talk between us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go watch cat videos. We've had enough of this. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mark. I am so sorry. Mark's like, play it again. So you guys haven't seen the trailer? Shall I put the trailer I've on again? I've seen a documentary about Murphy's Magic and how professional they were and everything they've done right and everything. And then, uh, wow. Got look, I'm like, writing a strongly worded email to YouTube. <laughs> but, oh, I anyway. There were two people messaged me during uh, during that second uh, streaming of the trailer mm -hmm. and said FFS Bo. Oh man, <laughs> I've been getting I've been I've been getting it everywhere. I've been getting it everywhere. So uh, I've even texted myself it and saying, "Look, sort your laugh out." Um, now I think we should keep this moving along before I get um, we play the trailer again for some weird reason. <laughs> yeah. um, P P five in the post. Yeah, that's it. Well, 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 halfway through, you were telling me about the Stroop test. Yeah, so, so I'll start again. Start, start again, again, start from the top. Yeah, yeah what, what is a Stroop test was yes. the, what you asked. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So a Stroop test is, it's actually a psychological test, and it was invented by Professor Stroop. Mm. And the idea with a Stroop test is that you display a color written in a different colored ink to what the color word that's the written is. Word, the actual word. Which is really confusing, and even trying to explain it's confusing, but... When I explain it, you'll understand because they're all over the internet. There, there are memes with these things mm. and stuff. But if you can imagine the color blue written, so B L U E would be would be written, but it might be in green ink. And the idea with the test is that you might ask somebody to say what color ink this is written in, and it's really confusing in the brain to like say, oh, it's green because you're reading the wrong word essentially. Because it doesn't mm. necessarily correlate to the colour. So that's what a Stroop test is. And I think probably in that explanation, you're, most people will be familiar with having seen one. Mm. But it's actually a genuine psychological yeah, test. I, I, mean, this the, isn't... I remember the first time I saw it, I was at university and my flatmate, um, she was doing a psychology course. And I think it was one of the first things within the first few months that they had been taught. And she excitedly sort of knocked on the door and then did the test for me. And what I, I actually like quite liked doing the test myself because because it was done within a time limit so you, you want to see if you're yeah how well you're going to do mm. um so i i mean i i kind of built this effect around it so it's around it's almost like a genuine so test it makes sense completely. and it is a genuine sort of test and you can you can see comparatively how somebody does against somebody else and you could time these people in doing this this test but the key, the key thing that I'm trying to get across here is that in doing this test, you're going to get one piece of information, and that's you're going to know what color somebody's thinking of without them saying it out loud. Mm. So that's what Chroma allows you to do within the, the confines of a Stroop test. You're mm. able to gain a piece of information, which is to know a color that somebody's thinking of. And I saw you perform this, uh, I think it was, yeah, like the, last week. Um, and people, what was interesting is people were actually queuing up yeah just to, have, so it, like just to have a go almost, at the test yeah. so the test itself was intriguing yeah so, so I, I i perform it like it was a party right and there was it, yeah, yeah. and there were, i was performing it with somebody but then other people were watching and they're like i want to try that as yeah. well and they were all wanting to try this but i was able to 
bank three people in a row and I was able to bank the colour that each of them were thinking of. And now I'm like, I was way ahead because I had three pieces of information, a colour that each of these three people were thinking of in their head. They don't realise that that's anything to do with what's going on. The fact that I'm able to think of the, uh, sorry, I'm able to know the colour that they're thinking of. Which is really cool because you're just getting that. Yeah, in, sort of. Yeah, indirectly. Um, so, like the the principle at play is 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 an incredible principle within our and within our world within magic and mentalism. But what I've done here is kind of coupled it with something that's a very understandable and relatable normal thing that. So it people looks would do. the test itself looks it's fun and but you're actually getting that piece of information. Um, yeah. And then what I teach in the instructional videos and stuff is how to capitalize on that piece of information. Like it might seem like it's nothing. Oh, well, you know, a color that somebody's thinking of in their mind. But it's it's how we capitalize on it, how we can use that. Like you could reveal it straight out, but I don't do it like that. So I, to reveal I bank other it. information as well. Yeah. Right. So you, so you get them and you, you, you sort of bank upon that and you you increase the you increase the, the, the thought and the thing that's in their mind and you can you can reveal much more information than just the color that and they're And you can see of. some of that on the trailer, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, I mean, there's, I mean, one ahead heading, if anyone's familiar with the one ahead principle, I mean, it's, it's always called one ahead, but it's actually almost like one behind yeah, principle, yeah. It isn't it? Feels from, Which is yeah. amusing to yeah. call it one ahead when it's actually a one behind principle. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Using like a one behind principle, you could probably imagine, and you can see on the trailer that there were, there was one performance that I did, not one of uh, Javier. I mean, Javier did the same thing as well. When I, I performed with some, some billets, yeah, and there was this sort of three phases and three pieces of information that I'm able to reveal. Just I, th- because... I think you did the same thing that you did when you lectured that fooled me the first time, right? Because, like, for me, I couldn't understand how it seemed like everything was copacetic. Like, yeah, I don't know if you want so to talk I teach. A bit about yeah, well, I teach in in the instruction. I teach my way of approaching a three phase one ahead, basically, and I and I I, I break it down and I teach a really clean way that. You, you, you're using billets, but three three things, three pieces of information, and at the end of it, everything sorts itself out. There's no extra billets. There's no hard moves. There's nothing yeah. difficult that's happening, and everything's clean at the end. I didn't see any moves or anything, and it, it was the cleanest one ahead with three, you know. Yeah, it's how I always handle my one aheads, but it's something that I I have been teaching in my lectures, but now so I've, you've put that on there. Yeah, I've given it in Great. this in this project as well, which is really really. Like I think I the think, best way of handling yeah, it's so good. Three so phase good. one ahead. But yeah. Um yeah. Any any other question? I don't know what I haven't covered. Like in my head I think all of this is like... <laughs> they covered everything. We can knock off now. We can go we can go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so um yeah. Uh I'm just literally seeing through a thing. So a lot of people have been asking about no, um I could do. Oh, <laughs> oh. Well we're not here we're not here for that. Oh, it didn't work. Mate. It didn't work. Absolute <laughs> meh. Um, Christian Gray says, I brought this from Mark back in Blackpool a couple of years ago. Oh, no, Money. I brought this back from Mark directly a couple yeah. of years ago. He wants a refund, yeah? He wants a refund. We're still <laughs> trying to do that chip thing. We've had some people ask about, um, it releases in under 10 minutes. Yes. So a lot of people asking about where does it release and how can they get it. It should be coming out in 10 minutes time. So in 10 minutes time, it'll be released everywhere. Um, so those when you're seeing that, check it out and the comment exclamation mark, the dealers popping up on your screens. You can type that in. You'll have a link. It won't be available right now, but it'll be popping up and it'll be available at all of your favorite dealers across the world, all your favorite magic shops. Um, Mark Kirstein asks if you can see the trailer again. Um, nobody's just going to kick <laughs> and remove Mark Kirstein from the chat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it is scheduled to go up on um, the full trailer again on YouTube as well. Um, so yeah, Ananda just said about all of our dealers. So how much is it? It is available for twenty four dollars and ninety five cents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mods can we kick Mark as well? The both marks. Um, no, yeah. So it's going to be available for twenty four dollars and ninety five cents. And again, that'll translate into your own currency, wherever you are in the world. Uh, if you guys have got any questions on this, please let us know. I've got all the platforms Probably up. more money on the packaging <laughs> than the actual card. Dude, that that packaging get. is so much fun. But you're talking about the, the, the card itself. That was when you, that was the thing. I took this I'm out like, yesterday. This is a pre-production one. Like, this is the prototype one that I still Which have. Which shows here. how long it lasts, right? Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's never going anywhere, but yeah. It's... But, yeah, well, this is a good thing because I got this yesterday and i was watching the trailer and i was practicing it last night and i had it sitting on the kitchen counter and my wife saw it and she even said the same thing you guys said she goes oh is this one of those things we have to read the colors and try and get it right and i was like yeah it's exactly what it is 
Um, but even introducing that as a thing, it's like it's it's a it's yeah, it's, it's, it's already it's, built in as a nice presentation. Yeah, it, it kind of sells itself as being something innocent already because it's something that people mm. are aware of. But this, they are this is this in, is the first time I've seen the principle justified in in a way that's just makes complete sense. Like yeah, complete yes. sense. Yeah, and a couple of things I'd like to say is that it's it's obviously self-contained. Um, mm. There is actually no memory work needed on this because mm. uh, mm. the everything you need in the crib and everything that it would be is all built in. Yeah, it's, that's so it's really there. clever so, the way you've handled that. It yeah, is. it's insane. It, um, yeah, I, it, it went through several iterations. I mean, I. I I signed it with Murphy's like we signed up. Um, oh, it's taken us a while ago, to get it up. Yeah. But oh. we, we, we signed it up a few years ago and we've, it's been through a few redesigns and things, how to, so it wasn't just the first thing you've actually managed, you know, you've had time to, yeah, we've it. streamlined it and got it to the point where, yeah, there's, there's no memory work. Everything's built into the, into the prop, uh, the prop, it looks great. It looks like the sort of thing that you might buy a, a museum gift shop. And that's kind of the way I would introduce it if I feel I have to. Mm. Yes. I mean, um, with, with, with the script down um, and obviously understanding how it works, I would almost say it's self-working. Yeah. It's kind of, I mean, obviously we do work, you know, but it, it just, it's just going to play. It's just going to work. Yeah. You know, but I, I mean, I have a lot of fun with it and just, yeah, as I say, just even the Stroop test, like I, I, I'm open about the fact that I don't perform gigs. I don't work professionally as a magician anymore. I used to. It used to be my sole income was work as a magician. Now I'm just a creator and consultant in this industry. So I, my performances tend to be in social environments. Mm. But this works really well in a social environment because people want to do it. They want to try out the test. Mm. They want to. One of our, our other friends, uh, Ross Bartels, he um, teaches uh, psychology at the university where we are now, and we're hoping to be in going out tonight and this is right up the street because obviously it's on the curriculum and he can just get this out mm. and yeah so he's like over the moon with it um you know yeah i yeah uh, yeah i mean I, I teach different ways of doing it um and, and performing it and learning it and i also like for i ios users like iphone users like i've i've built a shortcut that's for like practice mm -hmm. so we've got uh, iphone shortcuts um yeah you can do this which is a great way to to practice this and, and 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 learn it you can actually use the shortcut in performance if you want but yeah it's so it once you understand it and you've spent a little bit of time with it oh. you spent your evening with it Bo. it's pretty easy well i literally it? while i was watching the tutorial so in the tutorial you run through how it's done and yeah. then you say okay now i want you to follow along at home and at mm. this point, I didn't even have my card with me. I was watching the tutorial, and you're like, okay, so mm. now mm. I'm thinking of a color, and you're going through the process. And I was like, oh, okay. And I thought of the thing at the end, and you're like, and I'm thinking of this color. And I was like, yeah. Mm. I, I, within literally the, the first time I practiced it, I had it mm. down, and then learning with the card and stuff, it just it came yeah. along swimmingly. I, I know sort of like, you know, with the one ahead that you can see, so you get one piece of information that leads to others. Uh, what's really nice as well, uh, I've used this in the past, because it's a color, it, it sort of relates to so much other stuff. So yeah, you yeah. could potentially get an animal that way just by thinking mm. of an animal with that color, for instance. There's a there's a bit I talked there like a, a principle by my our, our good friend Pete Turner, and uh, he has he has the Bob principle. So there's a really nice utilization of mm. chroma with oh, the Bob right, principle. Yeah. And, yeah, I can imagine that. that yeah, would be great. And things like that. So mm. it just opens yeah. up so many doors for like like you said, it's a it's a good proper EDC thing to have in your pocket. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. we we have to drink. Both said EDC. So. Yeah, geez. Yeah, every time you have to say, I'm, I'm <laughs> sipping, on, I'm sipping on the juice. Um, John Kippen says, does it include the iOS shortcut? Yes. Yes, that was like, the one thing I really loved about it too. Right to Murphy, so hopefully they're including it and passing <laughs> it on to you. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I saw Marcus says, can I use it in a German language? Now this card is in English, but we are including a PDF with this. Um, so all you need to do is the card is color coordinated for everything you need to do. You just need to fill out your language on the back and then you're good to go. You can print it out, laminate it, stick it in your wallet and you can do it in any language you want to. Um, Lemon laminate it. La laminate it. There'll be Mark Lemon around licking all your cards for free. <laughs> <laughs> um, which <laughs> you get by the end of the, if you actually do that by the end of the stream, I'll be Mark. I'll, <laughs> I'll mind we blowing. Can you imagine he's at the end? He's like, um, 
I think actually we do have to do a giveaway. So we had a giveaway on our Discord and on our YouTube, no, not YouTube, on our Facebook group, uh, where people could get, win a copy of uh, PTSD. So we had a wheel that we're going to bring up. So we're going to bring up this wheel. I did not agree to you this. You got some left, have you? <laughs> 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 you agree to nothing, but we're going to make you do it. No, <laughs> we um we're going to do a giveaway. You can see how many people enter. I try to make this text. You can't see it because you're not you're not seeing anything right now. But the text is so small. There's so many people entered this, which is insane. So we're going to spin the wheel and we're going to see who won the copy of PTSD. So we're going to spin the wheel and we're going to get that winner. So good luck, everyone. Yeah, Mark Gerstein wins. <laughs> Mark Gerstein wins. Uh, Tom Gibbons, you won. Congratulations. Hurrah! Hey. Tom Gibbons, it's if you can send us a DM on any of Murphy's socials, I'll get that prize out to you quicker than you can say, hey, Mark didn't um, allow us to do this. Yeah. That's, which is super quick. Good, good one, Bo. Good uh, one, yeah. Bo. yeah. Uh, come, add this humor. Maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, should yeah, be so a comedian. Come, 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 <laughs> for the, come for the tricks, stay for the humor. Don't, don't give up the night job, Bo. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I've got to practice my, my humor after this stream. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, it's good, good to have it somewhere to do it. You know. Yeah, that's it. It's where I practice all my stuff. It's like I don't practice my magic on here. I practice my uh, comedy. Uh, Mag MM says, "Can we see a full performance?" Um, we'll probably have one up on our socials within the next couple of days. We'll have something up then. Uh, probably nothing up on the stream right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I could. I mean, doing a video performance wouldn't really make sense because mm. it's yeah. not. Unless you, I mean, I'd love it if you wanted to do video performances to everybody. Then you'd have to buy several units to ship them out to anyone that you're uh, <laughs> you're going to want to perform for. On so yeah, yeah, do that. Do, yeah, do, yeah, because do it'd be... performances a week over video. <laughs> yeah, that's please. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. But yeah, we'll probably have a performance up soon. I bet nothing on this stream. Absolutely, um, it'll be a bit, a bit hard. Yeah, it won't. Doesn't work over there. Yeah, but uh, I think if anyone's got any more questions, because I'm seeing. Oh, actually, uh, a good question up in here, and it actually relates to what, something I wanted to ask. Is there any limitations for this at all? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Colorblind. Yeah, yeah. You need to make sure that the person you're performing for, your your, your participant, is not colorblind. Mm -hmm. And also, I guess you need to make sure that they're not very, very stupid. Okay. So, um, I get yeah. Don't don't perform for Titanus. Basically. Okay. But hang on, no, no, no. Titanus isn't colorblind. Oh. Anyway, uh, jeez. Oh, hey, 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 oh. Um, okay, hashtag release the trailer. Mark, we've already released the trailer. Oh, man. This is going to follow me yeah, to my grave, this is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Titanus, if you're watching, I love you, Titanus. I love him, too. I love yeah. him. <laughs> I'm going to give, give him a hug kind of at belly <laughs> height. Though, it'll, it'll yeah, that's it. I can never <laughs> hug him at proper. Um, it's He's one of them that hugs you too tight and, and <laughs> nearly crushes you and hurts you. <laughs> he loves you that much. <laughs> uh, uh, Bill and Johnny asked, um, my question for Mark is, how does he get his hair looking so good? Hey. Mm. Hey. Hey. Same as well. Oh, yeah. Razor. A pick. Not, Just not point 0.5. Yeah. Get it do, off. do it with a razor and uh, about twice a week. Twice yeah, a there week. there you go. Yeah. There you go. So, there you go. Oh, well, now Chrome is now live. Chrome is officially live right really, now. Really, really badly. I was receding by the time I was like 20 years old, and it didn't take me long to realize that it would look a lot better without hair rather than yeah. this kind of little island that yeah. started to I form at the front there. <laughs> and now it looks like it's a choice, but it, it isn't. Mm. It's, uh, I'm be. old. I'm probably the oldest person on TikTok. If this is going live on TikTok, <laughs> yeah. probably the oldest person to have ever been on TikTok. Right, yeah. yeah, no, we're actually, we're not getting galaxies as gifts on TikTok. We're getting a whole bunch of Zimmer frames, which is really, <laughs> really <laughs> coincidental. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, uh, Phil and Johnny says, thanks so much for that. Um, uh, is it, it's it's live? Can I have one? Tom Crosby. Yes, you can. If you type in exclamation mark Sam. I've got an unread message from Tom as well. On oh yeah yeah, it was another FFS. Oh, that's good. oh was, yeah. Wow. Hashtag, hashtag FFS. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna rename this stream to we'll both have the stream running correctly by the next one. But, <laughs> but that's great. It's now live everywhere. So if you want to type in any of these prompts popping up on the screen, uh, you can get it from any of your favorite Murphy's Magic Dealer or anywhere. And you can get it direct from me at addsomelemon.com as well. There you go, so, yeah. Available there. Everywhere. Everywhere you can buy 
And those were out in the UK, so yeah, they go. Some people go for it, go for it. But that's it. If you guys have got any more questions, I'm seeing a whole bunch of people just really excited in TikTok on Instagram, getting really excited about it all. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Oh, Ananda, my boss just said FFS bow. Um, <laughs> well, it's been good working for Murphy's guys. I'll see you all very soon. Um, everyone's answered. I don't think anyone's got any questions. So I've, you've, you've answered all my questions that I had written down for this. I've covered everything or nobody cares. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, let's just hang out. Let's just talk about the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. Yeah, yeah. We could talk about IMIM as well. But yeah, that's yeah. another. That's insane. I've been, I've been very busy since Blackpool with, with IMIM. Yeah. Man, Getting stuff one. washing machines as well. <laughs> <Talk isn't>? about <laughs> <that>. <laughs> <laughs> IMIM is insane. That blew my mind at Blackpool. But crazy, oh, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Crazy. It's crazy. But so, um, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, everyone, get a thumbs up. We got a little thumbs up there. Hey. Cool. Hey, what's that about? See um, that? I have to take your word for that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I want to try. Well, I don't know if this is probably not necessary for here. But I set it up cameras around this, the, the, the stream. So if you actually type in like exclamation mark back, it should change the camera. Anyone can see a fire starting because of your lighting. and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I'll be like, oh, man. But we will, but um, I know you guys are busy tonight and I don't want to keep you too long because um, I know you guys want to go do, go have, enjoy your Saturdays. Um, How about party? Uh, celebrate. Man. Celebrate your release, my handsome yeah. gentlemen. But if you guys have got no more questions, I'm just trying, I was just trying to, take some time to see if anyone had any questions. No one's got any questions. Everyone's way too excited and they're not picking up Chroma right now. But you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming. I Well, I appreciate everybody that's tuned into this live uh, stream and I really appreciate your time as well, both. Thank you so much and, and all the effort that Murphy's have put into getting this release out. I'm really excited. I think people are going to enjoy it. It's really easy to perform. It's really it's, nice. Puppy. It's it's super compact. It's just and a plastic card. Your wallet. Yeah. Fits your wallet, your pocket. I didn't even have a wallet. I just used my pocket. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, literally just sits in the back of my phone case now. It's, it's insane. I love it. I love it. So thank you so much for releasing this. It's a really it's clever cool. idea. It makes so much sense. Like Fraser was saying, it's just it's insane. So thank you so much. If you guys got any more questions, feel free to send us a message on socials or comment on our socials and we will do a follow-up question. Or, uh, or telephone Mark Murphy directly. You can put his, put his phone, phone number, number on put his phone number in the chat, Bo, so you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to, <laughs> you can phone call Mark Murphy about any questions. Yeah. yeah. Oh jeez. You know, don't be rude about it. Like, <laughs> ring the doorbell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Explain who you are. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting so fired. Um, <laughs> Phil and Johnny asked to see the trailer again. Um, what happens after they decide for a color? Um, other questions. Uh, yeah, you can. You get there's a mark covers absolutely everything on the tutorial. How you they can get them. think of a color in their mind, and then the color that they're thinking of, you do a strip test based on that color that they're purely thinking of. And at the end of the strip test, you can you're in a position to be able to reveal the color that you, they were thinking of. Yeah. But I personally don't use it that way. I bank that information and utilize it in other ways later and build upon it and make something so bigger from it. But as far as they're concerned, it isn't about the color that they're thinking of. It's about them it's taking the this test, test. How well do they do it? The yeah, test to see if they're a, 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 a cognitive, like a visual thinker, like a color cognitive and, and, visual thinker. And how thinker long it takes, right? Because that's based around the original test. That's it. Yep. So that in itself intrigues people. But what's beautiful is, is you're getting that information uh, almost like, um, as an aside, like it's like, like just, uh, under the radar. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I can't yeah, think the, of the word that. The piece is 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 covert. Covert. Like, that's it. You, it's yeah. covert that you're getting that piece of information, and you can utilize it yeah. how you like. So at that point, it's not even. It's not like oh, I'm going into a trick, and like, where's the trick? Yeah, you're doing a genuine Stroop test, and then you know the information. But the, the, I mean, I use that. it. I use it as a precursor mm -hmm. to anything else to say, oh, I just want to see how much of a visual thinker you are. Yeah, like tuning which in. is quite cool in, in itself because whatever the result of the test is if they take a long time to to, to go through the strip test or a really short time you still compliment it so oh, that tells me that you're a very visual thinker mm -hmm. and then saying to somebody you're a very visual thinker you can say to them so i think that when you imagine things you see things in images rather than words correct mm 
Mm. And everybody, no one thinks, you know, no one has memories as words like mm. we think in the mm. visual, visual sense. So mm. all of this is covered, but you get a guaranteed hit at the end of it. And as far as I can say, it's like, good, I think I can work with you. I can roll into this. Mm. I can roll into that. And you do whatever trick you want to do afterwards. Or you just start to build upon this color. And, and, and to not get, you know, as a standalone effect, just revealing the color is strong as well. Yeah. But the point is you can build on that and do more. And yeah. obviously Mark, you know, is a great thinker. So you've, you've got that going for it. Um, Javier as well had some ideas, didn't he? Yeah. Worked some yeah. of it's a trader. Yeah. And it's really cool. There's, yeah. so, there's so much good information on the tutorial. The tutorial alone, just the thinking behind it. For an hour, I think I did like tutorial. Yeah. And, uh, and, the, and the one ahead, like for me, that's like worth just getting it for that, right? Oh, Fraser said it's worth the, uh, we have to drink for that. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. No, 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 don't say it. <laughs> oh, dear. I think it's worth the Like, for me, that one ahead is, like, beautiful. It, yes. it, 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 it's, it's one of these, when, when you first tipped it, I was kind of like, why hasn't it been done that, like that before? Because it yeah. all just self-corrects, and yeah. it's really beautiful. So, yeah, it's really yeah, good. There you go. Jeez. Fraser, Fraser gets a, a... I'm blushing. I'm blushing. I know, yeah, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't done. get any money uh, yeah. for this. Yeah, I'm Fraser just... gets, like, yeah, all the... the 10 you points to Gryffindor. I, yeah. I pay for the Pringles. Yeah. So. <laughs> there you go. That's what he's going to have. It. <laughs> it's a win for me. I've Let me try it. I'll try one more time. With the... You don't even like Pringles, do you? You're just using them to... <laughs> oh, he's, he's going to do it. If, okay, do it. Do it. Uh, Woo. Woo. Nailed it. it. I think I just blew out everyone's ears when I got way too excited. My OCD has just gone bang because there's like loads of crystals. <laughs> and then in the keyboards on my laptop, yeah. there's some... There, like, yeah, yeah, some Pringles. You'll be finding that for weeks to come. But I'll yeah. let you guys go back to it. I know you guys are busy tonight. I know you guys are going to go out and celebrate. So you guys have a great Saturday night. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and chat. And again, thanks to everybody that's tuned in. I know it's early for some people and late for other people and really and just appreciate boring it. boring for some. <laughs> yeah, and some people had to watch the trailer twice. twice. And so, oh, I apologize for... But it both is a good and, trailer. But, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to make that a prerequisite now. I'm going to stuff up every single live stream so I have to play the trailer twice. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have a great rest of your night. Uh, thank you so much for coming hanging out again. Mark, absolute legend. Uh, so good to see you and talk about your new effect, Chroma. I love it. And Fraser, thank you so much for coming hanging out too, my friend. We just happened, if anyone missed it, we happened to have a meeting yesterday, didn't we? And yeah. then we decided to hang out another day. So that's why I'm on the call. Um, but it's been good. You don't have it's to justify good. your presence. I like, don't feel, I feel awkward. I feel like I do, yeah. Like, well, um, this people is, are this like, is, what, what's he This doing? has ended on an awkward note. But, yeah, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. You yeah. weren't meant to mention that, though. Like, well, like, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, right. For that, mate. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, well, everyone, so thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I appreciate that. Um, he did tell me he was going to do that. He did say he was going to abruptly end the, the stream. Uh, but thank you so much, everyone. Actually caught me off guard there for a second. I was like, oh, no, what's this happened? But thank you so much for everyone for coming, hanging out, and seeing everything Chroma. You've all been absolutely incredible. Um, any questions, feel free. I'm about all day, so send me DMs on all the socials, and I'll be happy to answer each and every single thing you have about Chroma. But thank you for coming and hanging out. Phil and Johnny, thank you so much. Ananda, thank you so much. Uh, Mike Smith, everyone, James M, you guys have been absolutely incredible. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday doing whatever you're doing. I can't thank you all enough. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. No, Phil and Johnny, you're an absolute legend. Take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye for now. Will you help? Yeah, you will. Just hand, you want to hand your bottle to her, and then that way, uh, just hold out, because we'll need a hand. You have a hand free? Which, which hand would you like to use? Come on over here. I won't bite, I promise. Can you all see okay? Yeah. Because I want you to see too. Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks like you made a little jumping man. I love that trick, okay. <laughs> hey, do you have a garden, by the way? Any of you? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat, yeah? Kind of. Cool. I, I have a garden, and... Uh, the other day I was out walking and I have these three logs. And I don't know about you, but I get curious. So I turned over a log and again, there was a ladybug, right? That's pretty crazy. Go and hold that right there. I turned over a second log and there was a ladybug. Guess what was under the third log? That's a pretty good guess, because <laughs> you're right. <laughs> now I don't know if you know this, but ladybugs, they don't stick around very long, right? This one flew away. <laughs> now some people think it's lucky to spot a ladybug others consider it more lucky 
if a ladybug comes back. Just wave your hand slowly over the cards and let's see how lucky you are. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Well, it came back to you, so that must be your lucky ladybug. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that's for you. For you. <laughs> You're welcome. I want you to think of, since we've on, on the topic of traveling, since we haven't been traveling much, I want you to think of a, a destination, okay? Um, a, a country or a city, a tourist kind of destination that maybe you've uh, never been before and would love to go or something and like that. And you will bring me? And I will bring you, yes. okay? <laughs> so this is what I do. Uh, on this little piece of paper, I want you to just write you can write um, this way or this way, doesn't matter. And um, write down this country, city or this place. Anywhere that in the world you like to go, just write that down. I'll look away. Make sure I don't cheat or anything like that. Okay. okay. Once you're done, hand me the pen. Okay, good. And uh, I want you to just fold that piece of paper upwards like that. Okay, tear it out. Okay, I'll take the notepad from you. Okay. And fold that piece of paper again. You got okay. it? Yeah. Good. Now before I continue, I just want to make sure that the ink or anything like that doesn't seep through the, the this piece of it. There's some other drawings yeah. here. I don't know if the camera can see it, okay? But nothing nothing here as well, yes? Yeah. Here? Nothing. Nothing, good. Now this is what I do. Um, think of this place, right? Imagine you were there on tour and somebody brought you around. Could be a tour guide or anything like or your friend who has been there before, right? And they say that this place at this particular spot is the perfect place to take a photo, okay? Mm. So I want you to imagine a little photo frame like this in front of you, okay? And just think of this place, how you see everything. Good, fantastic. For, for a start, I think um, I can immediately see the colors uh, white and blue. Am I right to say that? Yeah. I mean, white and blue can mean anything, can mean the sky and the clouds and all that kind of thing, but I'll be more specific. Um, I can see water, I can see sky, I can see the white comes from both the clouds and maybe the buildings that are there. Yes? Something like that, yes? <laughs> uh, okay, from afar, you are kind of also standing on a, on a high kind of viewpoint, not looking at this place from bottom up, yes? Mm -hmm. Good, can I also say that these white things are actually like small little buildings or small little houses that are all like kind of on together. Since you're on a high point, it should be on a mountain or a hill or something like that, yes? Yeah. Can I say that this place is uh, in Greece, Santorini? How do you know that? <laughs> you take a look. <laughs> Show it to everybody. There we go, Santorini. <laughs> A band and a playing card. I'm gonna wrap the band around the card. We stand up to keep it out of view. Um, so you'll see, but you can see the band around the card. Watch what happens. If I'm just the right sweet spot, I can actually begin to melt that band slowly and visually. Finger chopper. Right, here we go. Okay. One. Oh, no. Two. Please, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you think this trick Ooh. deserves? A follow. A follow. Thank you. I 
somewhat of a miracle with playing cards. Okay, okay we, we've got two decks in, in play, just point to one. We're going to use both. Okay, so the blue deck. Yeah. I want you to drag that towards yourself and we'll come back to that in a moment. But for now, as I know you're an avid card shuffler. Oh yes, I love to shuffle. <laughs> I'd like you to give these a thorough mix. First, I'll just, I mean, obviously we're magicians, right? But you can see it's a shuffle deck. Sure. Pick them up. I want you to hold them face up and give them an overhand shuffle. Okay. That's it, and then hold them face down and cut cards to the table Leathers. and complete the cut okay. and then just place this card over to the side. Sure. All right, a prediction for later. <laughs> so now we're gonna return to this deck and this is where I'd like you to think of a number between one and 52. Okay. Got one? Have one. All right, mind reading moment. This isn't a high number, is it? Mm, no. I thought so, it's in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Name it aloud. 27. 27, mm -hmm. that's actually my house number, 27. For those that want to come to my house or send me a mail. 27, would you like to change your mind? No, I'm going to stick. It's fair, right? A card's been put under the box, a deck's in front of you. Pick it up for me. Carefully take every single card out of the box. Make sure you get them all. Okay. Get rid of that. And deal face down one at a time to the 27th card. When you get to the 27th card, just deal it forward for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 26, 27. Oh, it's too fair, it's too fair. It's too fair. I love it. <laughs> so this is where I, I feel joy in my heart because you could have dealt to any of these cards. You could have actually said any number, but more importantly, you took the cards out of the box. Would you like to turn over the 27th card? The Eight of Hearts. The Eight of Hearts. It can't be. It can't be. Do you want to show them or have a look at it yourself? Show them. You better show them because your expression says the... Yay! Wow. <laughs> Incredible. And there we have it. Miracle One.